So let's briefly talk about tape as storage media. This has been used for 50 years or so. It's based on those cartridges that you can then put into a tape reader. And as of 2013, you have like 8.5 terabytes per cartridge, up to 8.5 terabytes per cartridge. And that's a lot of data to store. Well, the major problem of such media is of course random access, because you have to wind to the right position in order to be able to write or to read any data. And that's about 100 seconds. This is very, very slow. So you can't use that for a live system if, you're, if your software really depends on having fast access to data, forget about it. On the other hand, it has a relatively high bandwidth, so it has up to 100 megabytes per second. And this is comparable to a hard disk. There are hard disks out there that are even slower, but usually an average bandwidth for a hard disk these days is very similar to this number, 100 megabytes per second. So in summary, tape is good for archival and backup storage. And if one tape is not enough, you can build a tape library. This is also referred to as a tape jukebox. So tape library is a cartridge library plus loading Robert. It may hold several hundred thousand cartridges. This can be up to 100 petabyte of storage for one of them, uncompressed, yeah? so without factoring in compression. Of course, in archival storage, you always want to use compression. Yeah? So you compress the data before writing it to the storage media. But random access in such a tape jukebox is even slower, of course, because it's not only winding, it's also access to the right cartridge. So you have to first fetch the cartridge. The robot arm has to be placed in the right position on the spindle and fetch the right cartridge. And then again, there's winding once the cartridge was positioned in the cartridge reader. So this type of storage is good for infrequent yet nearline access to the archive. In contrast to a standard cupboard, to a standard library, recall that in a standard library there would be a human involved. So if you want to have a specific cartridge that's not connected to such a jukebox, then you have to ask some human. You have to phone up some human and say, hey, I need that cartridge. Go down in the basement and put it in the cartridge reader, in the tape reader. And that would be even slower than this one. So a tape jukebox is a little faster than asking a human to fetch the cartridge and put it into a certain tape reader. So therefore, this is good for infrequent yet nearline access to an archive. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. So if you want to see more database videos, be it in English or in German, take a look at my website datenbankenlernen.de. It has a couple of English and German videos. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jens Did, or you look at our website, infosys.uni-saarland.de. See you there.